Stepping onto an historic steam train is a journey into the past. The Watercrest Line gets thousands of visitors every year, while 450 volunteers keep it moving full steam ahead. The railway is now working on restoring their flagship locomotive. The Canadian Pacific train was used during World War II and has just reached an important milestone as its frame was lifted onto its wheels. The project brings volunteers in with stories and love for the steam trains, but has also given retirees a new purpose. We're collecting stories about people who can remember the great age of steam, who may have driven this engine. We even have the story of one of the firemen who was on board this engine uh, when it did its 105 mile an hour journey, where that record breaking run it did that now exists. And he says in his oral history, I got on board and I was just told to shovel coal. I didn't realise what I was going to be part of. And it's that amazing story that exists because of this engine. We've actually got a volunteer, his mum used to work in a machine shop in the Second World War, building parts for this engine, and he now restores the engine she worked on, which is a lovely kind of story to tell. And so we're very proud that female engineers, in essence, have been involved in the original building of our engine, and we can show what they're very capable of. So it's not just an engine, it's really about her entire life and what she affected. I'm here at Eastleigh Works where the Canadian Pacific is being restored, as you can see behind me. The frame has just been lifted onto the wheels, but there's plenty more to do. Most of it is being done by volunteers and they're hoping it will be restored by 2019. steam engines are, are, are alive you know they for me it's the smell you know you, you see a steam engine go through a platform and that smell just lingers once it's gone and it's just the noise uh, we live close to Southampton Central Station and I was one of the small boys with a grubby notebook on the platform and for hours and hours and hours or beside the track down at Millbrook watching these things with sort of 13, 14 coaches on, trying to take off and trying not to slip as they went. They're just impressive, they just, you know, they get into your system. But there is still plenty to do. In order to be on track for success, the Watercrest line needs to raise another £200,000. This is Emily Mee, Winchester News Online.